Hi there everyone, my name is Pritam and I welcome you all to Technoholic. In this video, I will be talking about one of a very famous note-taking application that was initially available only for iPad and slowly they started expanding it to Machintos and now it is available for Windows. We are talking about good notes. So if you are familiar with some of the best note taking application available in the market, then good notes is one of them. And fortunately, now we can see it in Windows. So in this video, we will see how we can install and I'm going to give you a quick overview of how we can use that app. Before you begin, if you haven't subscribed to Technoholic yet, then I would suggest you to consider subscribing to our channel as we keep on bringing productivity videos that actually will make impact on your day to day productivity. Now back to our topic, how we can install good notes for that. Let me open my browser. And as I said before, GoodNote is one of the most popular note taking application, especially in case of handwritten notes, it is very popular in iPad and now it is also available for Windows, which I would say is great news, especially for those who are using stylus pen tablet for their PC or those who have a touchscreen laptop and would like to take handwritten notes. So let me quickly go here, GoodNotes for windows and here we go the first one is official link from good notes and not to worry guys i'm gonna also provide you this link in the description of this video so that you can directly land to this page and here we go here you can see some of its glimpse of its capability the way we can make these notes is really awesome guys and here you can see GoodNote have actually listed Surface Tablet and depicted how it's going to look like. Now, if I click here on features, then we can have a look what actually it offers. Here we can see it was industry first digital paper powered by AI. And obviously, I guess this is more of iOS driven. And here by seeing the rating of 4.8 for more than 85,000 users, this might have given you a glimpse how good actually this application is in case of iPad and Machintos. But now let's go back and let's download it for Windows. So now let me click here on get it for Microsoft. So this will basically take you to the Microsoft store. And then from here you can install it. So I already have installed it. So that's why I did not got option to click on download, but the download process is straightforward. So you simply need to click on get and in that way you can download it. So when you open this application for the first time, this is the way it look. You may use your Apple ID to sync your notes. Um, here I'm going to use Google ID and there we go here we can see this is a typical interface of good notes on the right hand side we can see option to create folder so let's say this is a sign subject so i can create the folder here and i also can create a notebook and we can also define the kind of page that you want to use we also have option to choose dark page or uh, white page or yellow page. So based on our need, we can define the kind of page we need. We also have option to change the layout. So let's say you want to work in landscape, you can do that. Then you can click here on create notebook. So in this way guys, we can um, create our notebook. Now all we need to do is jot down. So here we have got this toolbar available. I would say it is not as rich as in case of Apple, but they have recently launched it. So I'm assuming that they will continually improve it and will slowly launch more and more features with this Windows variant. Now we can actually type here as well by selecting this text option. So this is going to give you typing experience. experience if you would like to type 
but this application is more popular for for handwritten note taking application so let's have a look how it perform in that category full stop okay so let me try to choose the pen now um, let me write here something by zooming in and here also I guess we have a zooming option so if I click here on this pen option here I can see um, there is a pressure sensitivity there is a tip sharpness and here we also have an option to choose a different variety of pen so the fountain pen actually going to give you the pressure sensitivity however the ball pen will not and then you also have a brush pen which going to give you even broader spectrum of thickness or pressure sensitivity when it compared with fountain pen now after selecting fountain pen um i am also thinking of how can i increase or decrease the width of ink okay so here we go here we have option and then you can also choose the color with whom you want to write so let's choose any of these colors now let me have a look okay so i am trying to write here the first time the quick okay my handwriting is pretty bad i would say but i will try my best the quick brown fox jumps okay it is terrible I mean my handwriting is terrible not the software but still I do not find it that intuitive when I compare the performance of the software in Machintosh and then I do not have an option to actually pan it this is not good but I believe the writing experience is quite nice although my handwriting sucks but still it worked perfectly now from the top we can also change our pen and the color as well so let's now try to write from um red pen and let's see how it write okay so it is working fine the only thing is i am not seeing option of um panning but you can use the keyboard arrows for panning the document you also have an option of highlighter and then you can create any kind of shape it's going to help you to achieve that which is good and then there is a lasso tool which gives you opportunity to cut copy delete and resize apart from that you can also move it from its position apart from that there is an option of sticky notes which is cool i would say then we have an option to insert image then uh, we already have explored this text option the last option here is laser pointer so you can highlight the thing for a while and it will vanish after a few seconds overall i would say it is a good app however it is not the best app available for windows apps like microsoft general whiteboard bamboo paper notes and microsoft onenote is gonna give you much richer experience than good notes but i would say good note have taken their first step in right direction but maybe this is good news for those users who are using good notes for years in their ipad as you can see this 4.8 star rating from about 85k plus users also told the success story of good notes in ipad i hope that they're going to bring similar kind of experience in windows platform as well so that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more such content and i will see you soon in my next video till then you take care and bye bye